everyone, it's Nina. Thanks so much for joining me today for a new tutorial. I'm going to be bringing you some inspiration today using the new Pantone colors of the year. Yes, you heard it right. There are two colors this year that Pantone has selected to signify 2021. They are Ultimate Gray and Illuminance. Illuminance is a gorgeous yellow, and I thought that paired really pretty with the gray. So I thought I would use those colors today to inspire my card that I'm using products from our Simon Says Stamp exclusive collections. This card is perfect for both masculine and feminine cards. I've selected a bunch of beautiful pattern papers from a variety of different paper collections, such as the Waffle Flower Modern Neutrals, the Paige Evans collection, and also I Am Mom. I've also used a few other paper pads, which I do have linked below in the video description. So for dies, I've pulled out our Simon Says Stamp Clipping Heart die, and I'm also going to use our Nested Hearts die. And I'll pick out one of the hearts from this set of hearts so that I can use that to die cut across a slimline panel. So I've chosen a variety of papers of yellows, grays, and I'll even throw in a few fun textures, which I'll get to in a little bit. I started first by taking one of my heart dies and cutting out some of the pattern paper sections. I'm going to use both the clipping heart and also the nested hearts dies and cut out a bunch of hearts of each shape so that I can use them on my corresponding cards. I'm being a little bit picky of where I want to cut some of these papers so that I get some fun patterns and textures. And here you can also see I've die cut from not only some of our Simon glitter paper, but also some from mirror cardstock. And this happens to be a Tim Holtz mirror cardstock color. So you can cut from a variety of different papers, whether it's cardstock, pattern paper, specialty papers like glitter paper or mirror cardstock. Just pick out some fun textures in both yellow and gray, and you're going to end up with a variety of fun hearts that you can now assemble onto your cards. And we're going to be creating both slimline and A2 size cards today. So I'm kind of figuring out how I want to arrange my cards first by playing around with the different patterns that I've already cut out. Once I kind of have a plan in place, I'm going to start die cutting. Now, since I used the nested hearts die to cut out these particular hearts, I'm going to go ahead and use that same die to create four windows inside of this slimline panel. This is slightly smaller than a slimline card base, just so that way it has a nice mat around it when I put it onto a slimline card. I'm cutting out the hearts in a row across my card so that I can adhere this panel onto my slimline card base with foam tape. When I attach this with foam tape, it's going to allow this panel to be raised so that when I glue my hearts inside of those windows, they're going to be adhered straight down onto the card base and so they'll be recessed from the window. So it's gonna create a really nice depth to my card. So I've picked out the hearts that I wanna use on this card and I'm gonna just start adhering them straight down onto those negative spots using just a bit of dot runner to attach these down onto the card base. So as you can see, we get that really nice recessed look with these hearts. This is such a simple card design and easy for you to put together. You could do this with any color combination or any shape. You could just swap out the heart shape for something else. I also wanted to add sentiments, of course, to my cards. So I pulled out the CZ Designs Friends Set. This is a word and shadow die. So I cut it out from smoke gray cardstock for that nice ultimate gray color. And then I will also adhere some glitter paper along the bottom half of the sentiment. So I cut the sentiment only halfway out of glitter paper. So that way I could adhere those little pieces to the bottom of the greeting and create a faux dip die effect. It was really simple to do. And of course, if you don't want to go through the trouble of adding that little detail, you could just skip that step. I adhered the friend onto the shadow die and popped that up off of my card. I also pulled out some of the little hearts that I had had left over from die cutting the pattern papers. These leftover hearts make great accents and work perfectly for embellishing your cards. I also, like I said, made it a two sized card and this one features the clipping hearts die. So I die cut the outline first from white cardstock and glued it straight down onto a panel that's slightly smaller than an A2 card. Then I just worked through all the little hearts that I had die cut with the clipping hearts die from pattern paper and glued them into those negative spaces. But this time I used foam tape so that the hearts are popped up 
and the outline is recessed. Again with the thanks die I did the same dip die effect by die cutting some glitter paper along the bottom half of my thanks greeting and then I just glued those little pieces over top of the die cut greeting which is also cut from the same smoke cardstock that our sentiment friends was cut from. This creates a really trendy appearance and I really love the look of this dip die effect. Now you could have stopped there, but I like to add a little bit more embellishment. So I pulled out some Simon Says Stamp Moonshine Sequins and I'm gluing these around my hearts on both cards so that way it gives a little bit of sparkle. This clear color works great for cards where you don't want to add any extra color but you just want a little sparkle. And the clear goes with everything. I love the gray and yellow color combination. It's very refreshing and I actually don't know why I haven't tried this color combination sooner because it's really cool. So here are the two cards we created, very simple and easy to do, but I had so much fun making these cards. I also made another variation, but this time using our Chunky Hearts panel die. You'll also notice I used a hugs greeting for the sentiment. You can see all these cards look very similar, but completely different because we used different dies for the hearts. Now I will mill my slimline card with this fun dandelion slimline envelope. That's going to look really nice with those yellows. And then you may have noticed I was working on a second slimline card with that same four hearts going down the panel, but I'm gonna leave this undecorated and also no sentiment on it because I like having a few cards in my stash where I can easily just grab something and add a sentiment on for a quick card when I need it like right away. So I always try to keep a few cards blank in my stash for when I don't have enough time to make a full card. So that is my tutorial for you today using the Pantone colors of the year, Ultimate Gray and Illuminance, which of course is yellow. And I have had so much fun making these cards. I hope you were inspired to create using this fun technique of pulling out some colorful pattern papers in gray and yellow. And also don't forget those specialty papers and using a combination of all those little die cuts to create some beautiful handmade cards that you can now send to friends and family, people you love. This would make a great Valentine's card or maybe something a little bit more masculine. The gray and yellow combination is definitely perfect for masculine cards. So I hope something in this video has inspired you today and that you'll give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you'd like to see more inspiration, please be sure to watch the videos on screen. And thank you so much for tuning in today. I'll be back soon with more to share. But until next time, I hope you have a very wonderful day. Bye.